हेलो एवरीबडी आई रिमेंबर वेन आई वॉज इन क्लास सिक्स टू सेवेंथ वे बैक मैनी ईयर्स गो दे वॉज दिस फैड ऑफ फिलिंग स्लैम बुक्स एंड दे वॉज दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट डू यू लव नेक्स्ट टू योर फैमिली एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर आई रोड दी आंसर मैथमेटिक्स येस मैथमेटिक्स इज वर्थ लविंग बिकॉज इट्स ऑल लॉजिकल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू how you can beat your maths phobia you're watching yarn to learn by me that is priya handa so friends uh maths phobia is uh, well known as maths anxiety fear of mathematics forgetting things when it comes to maths forgetting formulas not understanding and comprehending what is being asked and many more things in this video i'll give you a few tips by which you can easily beat your maths phobia the very first tip is to acknowledge that you have this phobia yes sometimes we do not realize what exactly is our problem we mistake it for some other reason we may call it sleep deprivation distraction or uh, maybe many other reasons that we uh, name them as this is the reason i could not perform well i was not keeping well i was sick that's why i could not perform well in my exam or uh, maybe my uh, teacher isn't that good that's why i'm not able to do there's a lot of noise when i'm practicing so that's why i'm not good so we find reasons the first thing is to acknowledge the fact that whenever it comes to mathematics you have that feeling of fear you have gurgling inside your stomach you have your goosebumps so these indications that you have a anxiety an anxiety for mathematics once you will acknowledge it you can work on it to make it go away and fall yourself for mathematics as a logical discipline altogether the second tip is try breathing exercises i know it may sound so weird that when we are working on maths phobia how can breathing help but uh, maths phobia induces stress and when you are working on something when you are trying to understand th- something you need your mind to be very calm and how can you make it calm you can make it calm by de-stressing yourself inhale exhale and do this a few times before you are beginning to study your chapter topic or any other thing coming to the third tip learn the importance of maths now this is a very wide question how can you learn the importance of mathematics okay i'll ask you one question you need to pause the video as soon as i finish my question so that you can think about the possibilities so imagine this world without numbers pause okay if you have played it again you might have thought of a few things so begin from anything you're watching this video this video is edited it has gone frame by frame the timeline is there so time is there you might be seeing how many minutes long this video is again numbers are there you see the number of likes and subscribers again numbers are involved you talk about today's day date time uh, the whole calendar everything is numbers you talk about your mobile number your home address you talk about calculations you talk about currency you talk about your marks that bother you a lot so everything is numbers without numbers this world will be a void so understand the importance of mathematics in our life we don't realize it but it's everywhere you check out your time you're getting late you're reaching on time or not in school the period bell goes okay 35 minutes or 30 minutes over the next period so lot many things we don't realize numbers are there our date sheet is made it is planned we uh, make bookings for um, our vacation our holidays we plan for it so everything has numbers in it you convert one currency to another rupees to dollars again numbers are involved so lot many things are there your house address your vehicle number plate so without numbers that uh, distinguishness would not be possible will not be able to differentiate between things and they are very relevant 
and once you understand how important numbers are you have already taken the first step towards shedding your phobia for mathematics believe me it works so try to appreciate maths as its aesthetic beauty is awesome coming to tip number 4 try to connect the dots with logic now uh, maybe in some formulas cramming may work but mathematics is all about logic now uh, if you are uh, at the primary level and uh, your parents or you yourself have identified that you have a fear for mathematics then it's easily workable because this is the right time you are having the foundation set but in case you are in any of the senior or senior secondary classes and now you feel a tuition could work say you are in class 9 now you have actually began with the the syllabus so what would happen if you are having a private tuition also they will focus on class 9 syllabus only maths is a logical subject so whenever you are trying trying from that base from where you didn't understand be it numbers be it real numbers integers what are prime numbers how can you say these numbers are consecutive now these are the terms that you might have heard it at primary level but this is very important even numbers odd numbers positive numbers negative numbers fractions now how do you understand what are fractions okay numbers in the form of p by q but it is important to know that q should not be equal to 0 so these very you know the details and very intricate things these matter if you are working on something without having the basic knowledge behind it then it won't work okay let me take an example of adjectives so what what are adjectives adjectives are those words that tell us something about nouns now if you don't know what nouns are how difficult it would be for you to understand that this is a red rose red is an adjective how because red is telling something about the noun what is a noun rose is a noun so you connect how okay it's a name of a flower rose and it is of red color so red is telling something about rose so that's how red is an adjective so see the logic so you need to know the prior information before stepping out on the next one so my point here is connect all the missing dots if there is anything from previous classes that you have missed if you don't know the difference between constants and variables then it won't work for you you need to understand it what is an equation what is an quadratic equation what are closed figures what are quadrilaterals what is the difference between a parallelogram a rectangle and a rhombus if you would not understand these intricate things then forget about it that you will out of sudden understand the next class syllabus and i would like to add on here that uh, cbsc has uh, made a provision for class 10 to opt for basic maths and general maths so you have an option from class for class 10 that you can go in for an easy paper so when you can talk about it in your school so opt for basic maths exam if you are not that confident about the general exam paper also it is important for you to know if you are opting for basic mathematics then in class 11th you cannot opt for mathematics in any of the streams tip number 5 it's simple ask questions whether you are in your class and your teacher is teaching you if you have some queries do not hesitate to put them forth don't worry whether your friends would comment what would they think whether they will be sarcastic don't think about such things wo suna na kuch to log kahenge logo ka kaam hai kehna so what thing the thing that matters is that you should be at peace with yourself if you have any questions do ask hit them off let your queries be solved at home also whether you are having any tuition or you go to a coaching center or your parents teach you or you study with one of your friends never hesitate to ask the questions what is this what is that or how we are deriving this answer from this one it will help you it will further give you a boost because when you understand the logic it gives you a feeling of satisfaction that you know the reason and it's like you have moved forth another step of the ladder so it's very simple i'm repeating it again 
never hesitate to ask questions do ask a lot of questions come to the last tip tip number 6 practice makes perfect as if this particular quote was made for mathematics only if you are at primary state practice all the four basic operations take five sums for each you know what four basic operations in mathematics are addition subtraction multiplication and division so practice these basic operations do five sums in each category every day it will help you uh, further uh, have interest in mathematics it will hone your skills it will quicken your calculations so you will get a lot of benefits from it if you are at uh, a uh, middle level or senior stage then practice your sums practice various sort of word problems try to comprehend and when you are doing so or talk loudly as if you are making someone else understand fine if you are reading some question okay be loud as if you are explaining okay he had 4 kgs of so and so okay and then this happened so speak out loudly there is no hesitation in doing so once you will be loud enough and try to make someone else understand that you will yourself understand what that word problem means so practice a lot don't worry about the pages you can uh, practice with your friends alone as you like it don't be dependent on your homework school homework only that ma'am has given this much so i'll do this much only no this is not the way so practice simple questions first gain confidence feel that kick inside you that yes you have done it and then move fourth so that was it all the best to all of you i hope these tips will help you beat your maths phobia and in case you have any related questions or any other questions as well you can type them in the comment section below and as i always say before signing off do like subscribe and share this video this is priya handa god bless you all bye for now